Oh boy, sometimes I tell you, I just take the mickey. <laughs> Let me show you a new way to play ADP, baby. Let's go. Hey there guys, just before we get into the video, if you're part of the 60% of the people that watch these videos and not subscribe, can do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, I'll put a new TCG video out at least once a day, okay? Sound good? Let's get onto the video. So yeah, like I said, ADP is one of my favorite cards to play right now, um, and I've never seen a sort of grass variant, you know? I thought, yo, um, I was just thinking, I want to make a new ADP deck, um, and I've settled on this. Might not be the best, but it's hella fun, and it does complement ADP quite nicely. So let's have a look. Um, ADP, basic Pokemon, 280 HP, two attacks, uh, ultimate row for one water, one metal, one colorless, do 150, search your deck for three basic energies, and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. We want that's an awesome attack. It's going to let us set up all our attackers pretty much, but the main reason we play old, uh, ADP in this deck uh, is for auto creation, as always, you know, for one metal, one water, uh, your Pokemon do an extra 30 for the rest of the game whilst um, taking an extra prize card when you knock something out. We all know that is absolutely bonkers. Taking an extra prize. So we knock out a tag team, we take four prizes. We knock out a Dene, we're taking three. Um, and we've actually got... The, our deck does more damage depending on how many prizes we've taken. So you can see the synergy there is already. We take an extra prize and we do more damage, more prizes we take. It's pretty cool. So let's have a look. So we've got two ADPs. We have, and then three of this Buzzwall. And this is actually really fun in combination with ADP. Uh, basic Pokemon, 130 HP. Uh, with an ability, Beast Boost, this Pokemon's attack do an extra 20 damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card you've taken. So if you've taken three prizes, you do an extra 60. Okay, that's not too bad, you know. If you're taking a few prizes, we do a lot of damage. Uh, let's actually have a look at the attack then. So we've got for one Grass, one Colorless, we do Touchdown which does 60 damage, and it heals 30 from this Pokemon. Uh, healing 30, you know, is quite inconsequential, to be honest with you. The way the format's going, we're not really going to be tanking many hits with 130 HP. Um, so the attack having a base 60 damage, uh, let's just call that 90 damage, because we're always going to have GX off most of the time. So if we've taken three prizes and we've GX'd, um, how much are we doing? We're doing 150 Okay, and on face value, that's still not exactly the greatest, but we've got extra ways to cheat uh, some extra damage. I'll get onto that later. But for now, we've got other attackers. So, we've got one of this Venusaur Snivy, uh, and this is actually really good in combination uh, with ADP, because Ultimate Rare is always a two shot, pretty much, unless you hit into the Denes and stuff, right? So, you know, your opponent might tank a hit, they're trying to throw you up something else. Um, and our ability Shining Vine just says no to that. So Shining Vine, when Venusaur Snivy is in the active and you, attach your, and you attach your Grass Energy to this Pokemon, you get a boss's orders effect. So, you know, let's say you've hit like a Dragapult. Oh, that's a bad example because Dragapult actually takes two hits. Let's see if you hit a Picaron. Okay, um, for 180, they've retreated. They fit you with Zeora, for example. Um, you can switch into your Venusaur Snivy, attach your grass, either kill them with Forest Dump, which does 160. It's not a bad little attack with ADP boost, you do 190. Or you can just switch, you play two switching cards, get back into your ADP, and away you go. It's actually worth noting, even though Forest Dump is quite an expensive attack. With Ultimate Array, like you, it's very easy to actually attack with this. Um, and he's a big tanky boy at 270 HP as well. Uh, Solar Plant, don't worry about that. We're never using that. <laughs> so, um, because we're actually a Grass deck, we can play and get a good value out of Netball. So, I think actually having an Elder Grass V is really cool because it's so easy to search out. Obviously, Elder Grass V lets you have a VS Seeker effect when you bench him, which is cool. We all know that's really strong. Um, float Up, I guess, does 80 in this as well, which, you know, after ADP buff might come up. Um, and then you can shuffle this card and all cards attached to it into your deck. So we're taking it out of play. That being said, though, Vin, uh, Elder Gloss doesn't let you see cards. So you've still got one Dene for that. And then three Jirachis. Let's get on to the trainers. So, like I said, we have ways of cheating out damage. And the main way we're going to do that is with Beast Art. Uh, Beast Art is very similar to the Beast Boost ability from Bart Buzzwall. Except it's a tool card and it only works for Ultra Beast it's attached to. Um, and whatever card it's attached to does an extra 10 for each prize card. So let's go back to our scenario of taking three prizes. So Touchdown did 150, right? 
Uh, with a beast like attach you now do 180 which is a lot better that's a two shot you know you line up two shots with these little uh, one prizes and you're one shotting into the dene um, and stuff like this so you know if you start taking more prizes it just scales up you know it might not be the most energy efficient attack i'm not sure if just leaning into venus or snivy is the best way to go but i wanted to have some fun baby buzz was one of my favorite car uh, pokemon adp is one of my favorite cars i just put them all together <laughs> so uh, we've got one big charm just to give our pokemon more hp Two escape balls for our Jirachi. We've got four professors of research. Um, because, because, you know, discard draw seven is insane. Four minus act like a little bit of disruption. Um, we've got two Malolana. This actually serves two purposes in this deck. Um, obviously, the healing 120 is always nice when you're playing tag team Pokemon. You want to keep them alive. Uh, Malolana lets us do this. But it also acts as another switching card for our Venusaur Snivy. Like I said, Venusaur Snivy has to be in the active to get the gust effect. Um, so, you know, we've only got four switch, right? So, any other time we can get extra switching. Um, Malolana really helps with that. So. Um, we have two Guzmahala that's going to let us search our tool cards and search our raw energies at spoiler alert we play. <laughs> um, uh, we've got one Cynthia Caitlin just so our tag calls can let us see cards as well. Because um, obviously, tag call otherwise doesn't let you see cards. If you have a really dead hand, you can just tag call for Cynthia Caitlin, get back a supporter, and see three cards at the same time. Kind of nice to have, especially if you're not so reliant on playing Buster's Orders because you've got Venus or Snivy. You can afford to like get back other supporters, for example. Speaking of boss rolls, we still play one just in case. Like it's still, it's still a really good card. So you know, every time you haven't got the double switch combo, um, boss rolls will just let you get that gust that you need. Uh, we've got three vision for us to find our energy cards. Again, this is going to be nice to let us activate Venus or Snivy a lot, and also lets us grab our water and our metal because only obviously ADP uses them. So. Uh, three tag calls, so obviously we have to find ADPs, our tag team supporters, and Venus or Snivy. So tag call is actually insane uh, in this deck. Uh, four switch, one stamp, four quick ball, and two netball. Okay, netball is going to let us search our deck for a basic grass type, so Elder Gross or Venusaur or Buzzwell, um, or search for a uh, grass energy as well. So netball grabs us a lot in this deck, really. So that's pretty cool. And then for the energy, got 13, quite a few. Uh, four Aurora, because we need them for ADP. Note you can attach Aurora energy to Venusaur Snivy to get your effect. One metal, one water, and then uh, what many is that? Four, six, seven grass. Okay, there's actually a, quite a few other options you can play in here. Um, I was debating a shaming prism. This acts as a free retreat pivot, um, and it's actually a decent attack for two uh, grass or you know auras. You do 30 for each uh, basic energy attached to all your Pokemon. That's pretty strong, you know. Uh, obviously, your Voltmet Ray. That's going to add up quite nicely. Uh, the reason I didn't play it though is because we played four Auroras, so you know you got that. And then another one you could play was um, oh, what's that Anchor Pokemon called? Oh, if I type in Anchor, would it come up? Anchor. Uh, there it is, Del <laughs> Delmise. That's the geezer. You can play a Delmise. It's actually quite a beefy little uh, grass attacker. Anchor uh, Anger is actually a decent attack after ADP buff. If any of your grass Pokemon were knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack during the last turn. This attack does 90 more damage. Um, and if that didn't say have a grass stipulation, I'd 100% be one in this. Because then you get a revenge for 150 for one, which is just super cool. Um, but because it has that grass type Pokemon stipulation, I'm not going to run it for that reason. But, you know, it's still pretty strong. 220 HP basics nuts. And then Giga Hammer for 230 after GX is actually a good number as well. It lets you knock out, um, like same as, it's the same as Zacian, isn't it? Same as Zacian. So, um, we all know that's a good number to hit 230 for free on a basic. So, you know what? I wouldn't be too bad if you want to use a Dalmars. You know, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. <laughs> anyway, I'll shut up now. I've got some games with this. Let's get involved. Right, so we're getting here with ADP Grass. ADP Buzzwar. ADP Snivy Saw, baby. We are here. We are live. So, um, we lead... Um we lead Jirachi, we've got a Virgin Forest, we've got a Metal, we've got a Tag called Guzmala. It's actually not a bad little starting hand, to be honest with you. Um, outside of the fact we haven't got any draw supporters, we've got all the sort of search we need to um, get rolling. So, our opponent leads off with a Zacian, a Big Charm, and a Metal Energy, and then Trepid Swords with a Cramorant in the active. So, um... Not a bad start, really. Doesn't get any. Doesn't get any energy off his Intrepid. Um, and at this point, I'm just thinking, right, let's just get the ADP set up. And we can worry about everything else later. Um, as it stands now, we don't actually one shot a Cramoran or a Zacian. Uh, and Zacian actually resists grass, so Buzzwell ain't going to be doing a whole, a whole deal to him. Um, I think at this point, I'm um, trying to work out what we do. 
Uh, I think putting down Venusaur Snivy. Nah, that's probably like a boss of Zordas target. I don't think we have reason to uh, put that down now. I think I might actually debate if to hold on to this hand, just to be honest with you. Um, we'll get a Marnie. Yeah, it's got a big hand. Um, so I guess what we can do now is put Region Forest into play to make sure we get our energy next turn. Because obviously, if we don't put two to the bottom, we're not going to see them. Uh, I think that's what we'll end up doing. Uh, Bench Venus or Snivy? Uh, I mean, could do. Could do, you know. It'd be hard to draw back into it, though. That's the problem. <laughs> Uh, and it is a boss's orders target, so I think I made the right decision there. So I have no need for it now. Uh, I mean, going around the uh, crime rant's nice, um, but it's not really essential. We're getting the skateboard for our actually, in case, you know, uh, it survives the next turn. We've got Viridian in place, we get GX off, and we've got a Cynthia Caitlin to see some cars and get back Marnie. So, um, yeah, that's actually a decent little turn one, to be fair. It's not like the most glamorous. It isn't like an ADPZ where you have energy flying around with uh, metal sources. But you know what? When I play ADP, I'm a simple man. I just want to have my ADP energy turn one, baby. Everything else is a bonus. <laughs> the only bench is Snorlax V. I'm thinking, ooh, okay. And it gets out of Cabalion. Now, Cabalion's interesting because that is actually uh, a two prizer that um, ADP can knock out with Ultimate Ray. So we can take three prizes off that Cabalion. So at the minute, our prize mapping is probably look going to be looking something like that Cabalion and then anything else on the board, really. Um, Crime Rant's obviously easier for us to KO than the Zacian, but there'd be two shot everything anyway with Ultimate Ray. So, and Forest Dump for that matter as well. I don't know, do we two shot? Yeah, we two shot Zacian still, yes. We get the escape board. So, so we're going to get our um, GX off this turn, which is nice. I'm going to go for the uh, Professor's Research. That's fine. You know, we get to see extra cards. Uh, we get Venusaur Snivy and an Aurora, which is nice. So we can. Um, Bosses orders up something next turn. Try and take those three prizes. Go for the Stellar Wish. Get Netball, Quick Ball, uh, Tag Call. That's very nice. <laughs> very nice Stellar Wish. Yeah, I've been playing greens for so long. Uh, you kind of forget how good Jirachi is too, right? <laughs> Jirachi is pretty nuts. Uh, trying to work out what's sake here. I think Netball, what such is energy. Maybe I'm thinking about the um, the bosses orders. I think if we can Netball for energy, attach Aurora. We've got one switch in hand. We have to just find one more. Um, so there's the auto creation. Ooh, I thought I misclicked there. There's the auto creation. And it passed back over to our opponents. We've actually got a nice little hand, you know. We're, we're sort of rolling here. He has got free energy on his uh, Zacian, so we are probably going to get popped in the mouth. So I guess the scary thing is if we was to try and go around the Zacian, take three prizes next turn, uh, the Zacian hasn't took damage. Um, and if he Brave Blades this turn and we gust up Cabalion, we sort of reset the Brave Blade, if that makes sense. You can just Brave Blade again, whereas if we did the other way around, we hit into the Zacian, he has to um, sort of jump out of the active. So I'm thinking that Cabalion is always going to be there. You, know, you can't scoop up that Cabalion. So maybe it's our best interest to two shot the Zacian now, and then we can just pick up Cabalion at end day. He doesn't go anywhere. You know, we've got very easy gust here with. Um, with uh, Venusaur Snivy. Actually, one shot with the Venusaur Snivy as well, which is an absolute insult. <laughs> Venusaur Snivy stay. Anytime ADP is taking one shots, it's incredible. But there's the Intrepid. So maybe he should be attaching energy to his Cramorant so he can beat catch. Because um, I wasn't expecting to not take a Brave Blade there, let me tell you. <laughs> so back over to our opponent then. Uh, back over to us, I should say. So what are we top deck? We top deck to uh, Jirachi, I think. So we're Netball. Buzzball, like I said, isn't going to do a great deal in this match, unfortunately. Um, so I think I'm trying to work out how much damage he does if he would take three prizes this turn. And what did we work out earlier? Like 180? So, yeah, not really the great. So I thought we take it anyway, though. So I guess we can attach one energy to it, and it's always going to be a threat. That makes sense. So I don't think the Cabalion resists Graph like the Zacian does. So, let's have a look. So I'm thinking, what do we do? What do we do here? Do we gust up Cabalion, take three prizes? I guess if we take the three prizes now, um, the Buzzwell becomes more of a threat. Get rid of a skateboard. Okay, that's cool. I guess we could have got, could have got rid of a uh, Jirachi. I think I'm trying to work out now, because we actually have to hit another switch um, if you want to try and pull off the combo. Um, let's see if we do it. Let's see if we do it. No, we don't. We're going to... We want to see what Marnie gets us, <laughs> which is perfectly fine. Uh, that, that does mean we have to hit into Cramorant, though. Um, I guess we can take three prizes off Cramorant uh, and then three prizes off Cabalion. That also is perfectly fine, in my opinion. So we take out three grasses, we can put one on Buzzwall and the rest on Venusaur Snivy. Oh, we're going for two 
on um, Buzzwall. I think I really wanted to use Buzzwall in this video. So obviously, this is, this, is, this is a bit more of a fun deck, isn't it, really? You know, we really want to... Um, I really, I don't want to say meme territory, but I just want to be able to use the Buzzwall combo. And that's the sort of the interaction that's going for, right? Take a extra early prizes with ADP and then ride the touchdown. But I think realistically, um, putting more on the Venusaur Snivy is probably beneficial. But, um, you know, it's fine. <laughs> we can always skew prize trade and try and take out the Cramorant with the Buzzwall. That's always fun. So he big charms onto Snorlax V. Good thing he didn't big charm onto Cabalion, let me tell you, because that'd be sad. <laughs> Virgin's out of metal. Attaches to Snorlax. Um, and Snorlax V Max actually be quite interesting. That's not, that's not really a card you see too often. But there's the Brave Blade for, what's that, 230, I think? He's got no buffs. Yep, 230. And it's back over to us. So we get a roar off the top, which is nice. Uh, we've got Elder Grass, we can potentially see cards, or we can do Dene also. Um, I think this is the turn you want to try and... Because um, now, since we've got damage into Cramorant, we don't really want to put damage into Zacian. It's sort of waste. We just want to be able to um, hit Cramorant now and hit Cabalion. That's really my prize mapping for this game. Uh, so yeah, hitting, hitting into the Zacian now ain't going to really get a lot done so i don't really want to do that so i think at this point i'm just deck thinning i'm seeing how many switches i've got in deck you know what are the odds that i can hit what i need to uh, we've got bridging in play so you know hitting grasses isn't too uh too much of a problem which is kind of cool that we've got two grasses in deck so we need to hit um if we do then we need to hit what double switch uh, and we've got three in deck um, and we'll have our supporter as well because it's like we're going to Dene. so we go to mahala i think i wanted to leave um Marolana in deck, obviously that is like a pseudo switch, isn't it? So that would be effective. So it's like we take the oh take the buzzwall and then we'll oh we bench buzzwall, okay, then we'll quick ball away, Elder Grass, that also works. Um we'll get the Dene out. So we just deck thin a little bit there. And then we did Dene. So here we go. And we get double switch. There you go. You know when you uh, you do your sequencing right and it's all happy days. <laughs> Right, so we need to switch into Venus or Snivy, or we can switch into Jirachi, I think, for it. Yeah, and then retreat into Venusaur, and then switch. Let's get another switch, which is nuts. <laughs> so we see all three of our switches uh, on that little sequence, which is fun. But we take a reset. I think that's more sensible. So uh, now we can retreat into Venus or Snivy. There we go. And then we can Aurora Energy, and as you see, it does work off Aurora Energy. So we can discard that. Do I actually need that? And then we'll Gust, probably bring up what? Cabalion? Uh, or do we take out. Doesn't really, really matter. I mean, if we take out Cramorant, we take away the Pivot. So, But then I guess if we leave Cramorant, if anything goes for disastrous, you've only got 20 health left anyway. So, And then here's the old Ray. There's three prizes. Now, all our buzz walls are live. We've got two grasses. Is it worth attaching them? Do we need potential energy in deck for Venus or Snivy? And that looks like that's what I'm doing. Should we attach that there? So we can just attach one more to the Venus or Snivy if we have to use uh, the ability. And then we obviously we just attack with the Venus or Snivy in that scenario. So we've got a Malolana, which is cool. So yeah, it's all looking quite good for us. Uh, the 6 0 was live. Chances are we're not going to 6 0 now. Though. There's the big charm. Should have attached that to Cavalion, shouldn't you, lad? <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say, Snorlax VMAX is a car you don't really see a lot of. Maybe it's something I should, I should uh, uh, profile, isn't it? There's three energy on the Snorlax. And there's the Brave Blade. So, no VMAX. Is, it, is he even one of the VMAXs now thinking about it and watching this back? So, as it stands now, all we have to do is Gust. Cramorant. So what we should do is just promote Venusaur Snivy, Viridian Forest, um, and then bring up the Cramorant. But like I said, I want to use Buzzwall, so let's see if we can jump through some hoops to get a carry with Buzzwall. Um, to get a carry with Buzzwall, we need to probably what promote Jirachi. Uh, we haven't got switch in hand. Uh, have a think. How would this work? So we can actually promote Venusaur Snivy, right? Uh, Viridian Forest of Grass, bring out Cramorant, then just Mallow Lana. That would be the sequencing. So we actually, yeah, it doesn't even matter if we need Venus or Snivy. It um, doesn't even matter who we get the carry. We can get a carry easy way. Um, 
that being said, he's taking a long time to take his prizes. I don't know if he like trying to timer storm me at this point. <laughs> uh, there they go. Maybe I don't know. But even this is, this is why I start doing post comms now, guys. Because even though I just explained to you how easy we can get this KO, even if you want to get a long way around, get the KO with Buzzwell, let's just make it harder for ourselves. <laughs> so let's have a look what we're going to do here. So you have to probably we just play the research. That's wrong. We can obviously quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear and this is what i always say guys this is why i do post comps so i can see these misplays so i misplay so you don't have to so if you want to pick up an adp uh, snivy sword deck you know about all this sequencing you know all that stuff uh, so we get the switch um so switch into venus or snivy i want to get a care with buzzwall so we can sell a wish now yeah celebration oh Interesting, what's going on here? I, am I just taking the KO with... Oh, okay, we can retreat then switch. Yeah, there you go. So like I said, um, I make these mistakes. So if you want to pick up this deck, you get a lot better. Yeah, you, you don't make these mistakes like me. And there's the switch. So you get the KO for touch. And let's see how much damage we do. 180. Uh, we've taken three prizes and the beast light. Happy fun times, eh? But there is no next one, I'm lying. <laughs> so yeah, there's an ADP Snivy Saw Buzzwall. Like I said, it's just a bit of fun, guys. You know, if you've got these cars lying around, put it together, have some fun. It's actually really fun using Venusaur Snivy. Um, and it makes me th it makes me think that if you were to take out the Buzzwalls, just go down the Venusaur Snivy route, you might be onto a bit more of a winner. But I just wanted to use Buzzwall because it's a fun interaction. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, like the video, hit subscribe. I take, I make new TCG video every single day, okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all.